what is going on everybody chat here welcome back to the dorky and 40 channel so we wouldn't be very dorky around here if we didn't talk about things like star wars and models and stuff like that every once in a while as you can see behind me especially right here you can see some star wars model kits that i intend to work on and or i am working on currently and i just don't put them here on the channel but i'm gonna throw some of this stuff up here anyway just because I think some of you might appreciate it. Here in Ohio has been just awful this spring and early summer. It's kind of like last year. We've had more rain than they had in Seattle so far this year. And I'm pretty content with my five inch builds, working on a three inch and a seven inch. So we've got some stuff to talk about with that. And we still need to talk about my new five inch frames that I'm flying, the Craft Quads Low Flows. Really, really loving these. My go-to frame pretty much from now on, it checks all the boxes. So that's kind of why I've been tinkering around with models and stuff like that a little bit lately. My everyday models I'm working on right now is a car and a Bubba Fett action figure. And again, I might mess around with that X-Wing up there. What we are gonna be doing for the next two years is we are going to be building our very own X-Wing fighter in the largest model scale that has been available to anybody currently. So what I am talking about here is the Diagostini Build Your Own X-Wing Kit. And this is basically a monthly subscription box where you get four issues of a magazine and build parts and you build this model over and over and over and over until finally you are done two years later. They do, they have already completed this with an R2-D2 build. They've already done this with a studio scale Millennium Falcon. All are pretty sweet. I've got some of the R2-D2 stuff behind me. I kind of got a little way through it and stopped in order to put more of my money towards the FPV hobby. Pictures and stuff on the internet really do not do this justice at all. Kind of have to see exactly what's going on in front of you. But this thing is going to be amazing when it's all said and done. It's going to have electronics built into it. Everything's going to be fully lit. Even the proton, uh, I mean the laser cannons here are going to light up and everything like that. So it's pretty sweet. It's one of the ultimate items for a Star Wars fan. The X-Wing is my favorite ship of all sci-fi ships that there is. I've built a few X-Wing models that I have here in front of me. I have... This Bandai kit right here, which is very nice, and it's pretty much the largest regular model kit you can get without going into these garage type kits that fans actually produce and make themselves, but they're made out of resin, they're kind of hard to work with, they're really hard to, main, to obtain, and they also can get pretty pricey. Now this, of course, is pricey itself at $65 per month, um, and you multiply that out by 25 months, but payment plans are nice, right? So each month you're going to get a delivery of four magazines, and this is just issue one here. And each magazine just kind of has like some Star Wars lore built into it and some information about some of the ships, so on and so forth. Just all kinds of different stuff. And then, of course, at the end, it'll talk about the section of parts that you get in your blister packs here and how you are going to assemble those now sometimes you know it's just kind of like you build little things and then you might have to set that part to a side for a while before you come back to it they kind of bounce around a little bit so if we take a look at some of the blister packs here you can see this is like the bottom of the canopy some of these parts are going to be metal, some are going to be injected molded plastic, some are going to be resin. So this is my hand, and you can see that this is like the cockpit, the bottom of the cockpit tub. And we've got pieces of uh, R2-D2's legs right here. We have his uh, dome, we have you know the canopy, we have uh, some of the uh, parts for the laser cannon. So you can see like how large and actual you know laser cannon is going to be and then here we have some more pieces of the cockpit um a battery pack and a tester because r2d2 is lit up and his head will spin around and all kinds of cool stuff like that and just because we're 
talking Star Wars here. I'll show you uh, some of the R2-D2 stuff. I got about a quarter of the way through and I'll put some of the parts here on the bench and we can take a look at them real quick. So this is like the top of his dome, his head of course that we were working on. There's like parts here to the leg and there's all kinds of like little electronics and stuff like that that came with this. You know, like here's his battery pack and one of the LCD screens that was on him. And then it has like the little test module there so you can test out all of these individual parts that, you know, like I said, they kind of would throw you a little bit of electronics every now and then to kind of make you happy and keep you satisfied. And then, you know, you would go back to the build a little bit, just basically trying to keep things fresh. There's his LED, one of his eyes. So I hope you guys are pretty excited about that. I'll be throwing this stuff up here randomly on the channel. If you care to take a look at it, I would appreciate it. And we will talk to you guys later.